Hello there. Welcome back to Positron Plays Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Last time we played as Kane. And I think those X's mean we're on a two win streak. Let's mess that up. Now, I believe every time we beat Mom, we get an Eden token. Eden is a completely randomized character. Stats and items. So, let's start with that. Now, it looks like we started with the Wafer, which is incredible. Uh, and the Hourglass as our space bar. And we also have the Red Patch. And not much health. Kind of a funky, slicked back hairdo. And we get Blood of the Martyr, which is a damage upgrade. Right off the bat, that's fantastic. This is already shaping up to be very, very good. I'm not going to squander any of our health on that, though. Oh, that's a very neat effect on the music with the hourglass now. It slows the whole thing down. So we're already starting off really well from damage standpoint here. We don't really have many consumables, but... That's not going to take long to build up at this rate. There's a tinted rock here. Might as well use our one bomb to grab that. And we get three bombs back, alright. Well, fair trade. Gemini. Oh! Charged me right off the bat there, was not ready for that. Now he shouldn't be faster than us to begin with, but especially not when he's slowed by the hourglass. And he's dead, so now we just gotta bounce his little buddy around and collect our reward. Get him trapped up against the wall, and we're done. Oh, and we got an Eternal Heart. And Synth Oil. Damage and range. More damage. Awesome. Let's go. Now, if we can keep these soul hearts alive, we will be able to most likely get a deal with the devil, which would be very beneficial. Um, we can only trade for a couple of things, but we're in a pretty safe place to be able to do so. Now, I think these pots are the same as the skulls and later floors, which means they have a chance to drop some items, but require bombs to blow up. And we really need a key, or if we're lucky, whoa, that's troll bomb. We will be able to bomb our way into the item room through here. Nope, doesn't look like that's going to be the case, though. There we go, there's our key. Let's go to our item room where we will get... Uh... Dust Bunny? Mom's wig! Wow, well, aren't we a dapper looking fellow. Now, I wonder if that fly just came from our wig? Hmm, or a, sp a spider I should say. Interesting. 
Yeah, it looks like we're just kind of uh, generating spiders over time. And we got Dingle. This is always a tough one. But if we can keep him slow, he can't really go much of anywhere. Hopefully we'll generate some spiders here and we'll be able to do some damage to speed this up a bit. I'd like to use a bomb on him, but he moves too much. And we get an old bandage. This is an HP upgrade. Now I don't think we'll go to our curse room. I'd rather save our soul heart here. Actually, coming up with quite an army of spiders here, which means the next room we go into should be really easy. I'm sure there's a strategy involving, you know, just kind of hanging around, waiting for all the spiders to generate, and then going to a boss room or something, but we're not going to do that. That key will let us into our item room. We don't really have enough money for the shop yet, so. Item room is going to be priority number one for sure. Not getting hit by spiders is going to be priority number two. And that is... Uh, well, I don't know what that is. Mom's eyeshadow. Oh, charm tears. Hmm. So, have maybe kind of like a confusion or mind control effect on enemies. I hope they live long enough, we might find out. Yeah, it looks like it does. Well, that seems pretty handy. Now if we got things that upped our tier rate, we'll be able to fire a lot more often and activate that a lot more often. Probably save us a lot of damage in the long run. Now, there is still some of this floor left, so I'm going to go back and explore first, see if we can fill out our health and get any more upgrades before we head into the boss. Come on. There we go. Ugh. Got him. Iron, we got nothing. Ooh, we have a lot of spiders, though. I think I'm actually going to go... Well... Now let's just plan on not getting hit. Mega Maw? Oh, this is a boss I haven't seen... Holy cow. Oh, that's horrifying. Let's see if this will help us. Oh, he spits out hoppers. That fire is always in a different pattern. This is a really awesome boss. And we unlock the catacombs. Now, that is an alternate version of the caves. And we got a picture. Tears and shot speed up. Alrighty. Let's head down. Yeah, the catacombs has a chance to spawn instead of the caves. It's a more difficult version of the caves different sets of enemies and things of that nature. And here we are in the catacombs. This also has a much more ominous music track. And we find our secret room for free. In fact, being clever, we can use that to get into that boss arena room without having to lose our health. Oh, well, poor guy. Hmm, I don't think we're gonna open those though. That's. I don't really wanna waste all our keys. Now, Sloth should drop a tarot card here for us. I'm gonna drop a playing card. Two of hearts.
I don't cut myself back into a corner, and that's not a good decision against keepers. That's a good way to lose a lot of money and a lot of health. Let's take this pill. That's not a pill. There we go, pretty fly. We can't really afford to gamble much here yet, but we might do so. This is a tough place to be in with these guys. Charm is helping quite a bit though. Keep at least one of them off of me. My range is much longer than theirs. We may spend a bomb there to ensure that we survive. Actually gonna use our hourglass here for safety's sake. These wall spiders are probably one of the more difficult enemies that I've seen so far in Rebirth. Just because they have so many different varieties and it's not immediately apparent which type is on the wall. And we get a uh, astrological sign. Scorpio poison tears. Ah, it looks like this actually turns all of our tears poison. That's fantastic. I'll give us some damage over time. I feel like it also upped our rate of fire a little bit too. We are doing a significant amount of damage, which is good, because we can kill most of these spiders while they're in the air jumping towards us. Another pill, and it's another pretty fly. I don't really want to use our two of hearts unless we have to, but if we get to the boss, we'll probably... Yeah. I think we'll just use it to be safe dark one. Kind of looks like uh, the Fallen. Oh, he does a charge. Oh, and it's very dark now. Uh, hence dark one. This is an awesome, awesome lighting effect, though. Fortunately, we're doing enough damage that it wasn't too much trouble. I believe that's the magic scab. Wonderful. Let's go back up and go to our cursor room before we head down. There's some health lying around that we can pick up. Now, I believe that can only be opened by a bomb, so we'll spend a bomb, see what we get. Uh, more bombs! Alright, fair trade. I don't really feel safe enough to play that blood bank, so we're just going to head down to the next floor. Now, we don't have the alternate version of the depths yet, fortunately, so we'll have a little bit of an easier time down here. That poison seems to last quite some time, too, so some hit-and-run tactics will do some good for us. And we can poison knights in the front. Uh. 
Yeah, we'll trade a bomb for a key. The skull had a tarot card in it. The Magician. Not a great card, but yeah, we'll probably use it on our boss or something. These uh, gravity wells are pretty interesting. They're not too detrimental, but they certainly make you think a little bit about how you're playing. Let's see if we can find our secret room here. Nope. And let's try... Nope, can't do it there. Purple fire. I don't know what purple fire does, but I don't have a good feeling about it. Now that's probably our shop. We have a bunch of keys, so let's check it out. And now we have enough money to buy something if it is. Ah, that'll show us all secret rooms. These guys are a huge pain in the butt. Usually they actually spit a uh, white tier kind of deal on a longer pattern that seemed to be a variation on them. We're in pretty good shape, and I think our hourglass will be charged up to this room, so let's just go fight the boss right away and see what we can get. Well, after we go to our secret room. Hmm, that'll give us more drops from poop. So what the heck, Kel? Monster 2. He's been showing up a lot lately, and he's got a lot of health. He's kind of tough. But being slowed, and hopefully we can poison him. If I get him to land on these bombs, it takes off a sizable chunk of his health. And we got an Eternal Heart. Definitely cannot forget to pick that up before we go down. Ah. And I walked into the fire. That is not wise. And our item room contains... Crack the sky! That's... White beams from heaven come down and do some damage, but they're randomly targeted and it's not very reliable. Let's stick with the hourglass. Champion Knight, maybe I'll drop something good for us. Dropped a heart. And our secret room is... It's bombs. Oh, that's not bad. I don't know if these guys will actually fi fire on each other if they're charmed. Um, might be something to try out at some point, however. Usually in close quarters, I'm not really too keen on them living too long. Like we've got one more room to explore. <laughs> ah, Wallmaster Mom. But we got her, and we got a couple of bombs for reward. Now, if we end up with a lot of extra bombs, it might be worth our time to start blowing up some skulls, see if we can get some tarot cards or. 
Maybe we'll get something from these fires, actually. Nope. Pick up our eternal heart, must not forget, and down we go. That big brain guy is also kind of lobbing shots at us, but not very accurately. He didn't drop anything though. Now we've only got one shop left. Hopefully we can pick up something. The matchstick, I believe, gives us more bombs, but we're in a pretty good place with those. A dime. Well, that definitely secures our ability to buy something from the shop if Greed's not inside. This is definitely an hourglass room. These guys are tough, especially when there's a gravity well in the middle messing around with us. <laughs> Heart that says BFF. Your friends rule. Now it looks like that gave us two huge pretty flies. Seems pretty nice. Fortunately, we can't make a bridge to that chest. These kind of as Gertie Jr. Junior Juniors. They're really small, really fast, and primarily function on charge attacks. Hmm, one of those fires is a different color, which is very suspicious, but I don't think there's anything in there. Now, do you want to use a bomb and two keys to get that? I don't think so. Unfortunately, we don't have our hourglass charge for this, but we should be okay. The more we can poison mom, the better. That's quite oh, we can actually poison the side panels as well. halfway through. Might not even take any more damage on this, which would be fantastic. The more we can bring down to the womb, the better, because that's where things start getting tricky. Although, actually, we have the wafer, which means we'll still only take half hard damage in the womb. So we're in pretty good shape. I think one more time of her foot coming down will be the end of it. And we got the cat of nine tails. Down we go. Now we're actually in utero instead of the womb, which is the, the more difficult version of the womb. I didn't think I had actually unlocked that, so that's pretty interesting. Now we haven't had any pills pretty much all game. Let's try these out. Range down, that's not good. Bombs are key. Eh. 
Oh dear. That just sent us... This guy's stuck to the wall. Sent us... Eh, not that far away. Let's go pick up whatever it was that we were carrying around before. Now if these guys start teleporting all over, this is going to be a very tricky room. But we managed to get most of them before they got very far. And we got a couple of hearts if we need them, and the Cursed Skull, which we are not picking up. This is realistically probably our last chance at a deal with the Devil also, so we want to make sure to not take any more damage if possible. And that soul heart will definitely help ensure that we're able to do that. Perhaps augment our bombs here. Wrath is actually usually a pretty early game boss. It's surprising to see him this far down. Uh, do we really want Mr. Boom? I don't think so. I think we'll stick with the hourglass. More keys, wouldn't mind finding some of those double key doors. Well, we're certainly not getting that. Yeah, I think we'll open these. Another soul heart. And mini boss. Sort of. Pin is usually a first floor boss, or at least he was in the original binding of Isaac. I'm not sure if he still is a boss. second secret room is up here, and looks to be a dead end beyond that. Let's see what we get. That is safety cap. That will cause more pills to drop, I believe. Miniature Blastasis. Boss that can show up in the womb sometimes. I, I was just thinking, I, you know, I'd welcome a blood bank at this point, because we have so much health on the ground. But I'm not sure we can get over there. And we can. So we'll spend a little... Oh, and we immediately got the blood bag. Awesome. That, I believe, is Tiny Planet. I'm a little concerned picking it up, but it's fun, so what the heck. Oh my goodness, and we are just tearing this up. Tiny Planet has some just amazing synergies with, I mean, pretty much every tier effect in the game. Um, especially beams, it gets pretty crazy. Now, against small single target enemies, it's not that great, but we should be fine. Now, when we get it hit a whole string there with Tiny Planet, it does just a staggering amount of damage. So I'd say that was worth it. And all we can go is left. Or west, if you're picky about it. Those are piles of meat with heads. Okay. Not sure what mom's been eating, but 
Probably wants to change your diet a little bit. And yes, I'm well aware that mom doesn't eat their uterus. Well, there was a movie about that, but we won't get into that. The gate, and it's two of them. I've never seen this boss be. Oh, whoa, those are big. Alright, let's see how this goes. Now, I think they're both going to shoot. Whoa. <laughs> Alright, so they shoot lasers and bullets and curving lasers. This is actually a great time for Tiny Planet, though, because we can kind of take out both at once. Unfortunately, I've taken some damage here. I'd really like to not take any more. Well, they are spawning at just a large number of enemies. Oh, there's a little guy hiding out in there. That laser attack is very, very hard to dodge. I'm not sure what the pattern is for that. We unlocked the Necropolis. That is the alternate depths. Also notoriously difficult. Let me get the screw. I wonder if shot speed up makes our tiny planet shots orbit faster. I think it does. Maybe we can get lucky and get another blood bag right away. Nah, not so much. I'm not going to spend much time playing that. It's a little too risky. Now, it seems with Tiny Planet that if you need to hit something right in front of you, you want to shoot in the opposite direction as the shots go around at the back very quickly. Yeah, we'll fight Greed. In fact, we use our hourglass, it's only a two room recharge, and we're most likely two, more than two rooms away from the boss. And we get the steam sail, which is completely useless now. Just makes all items and shops 50% off. Take a short cut through here. Justice. I believe this gives us pretty much one of everything. Just about. <laughs> I'm not sure how I didn't take damage there, but I am very thankful that I didn't. I could certainly go for the map at this point as. The longer we spend down here, the more likely we are to take a lot of damage that we can't afford to take. The tower spawns a bunch of bombs. I'm not actually sure if the Magician still works with the Tiny Planet. We'll use it on the mom fight and find out. Now, Mom's Heart is a huge target, so Tiny Planet should be fantastic there. Uh, it does work. It makes a little bit of its path before starting to home in, but it, it does seem to work. Tiny Planet is also fantastic for clearing out any of the additional enemies she spawns. I really like this these bullet hell patterns. It's really neat. Now with our best friends forever, we're actually absorbing a lot of those shots. My dodging is actually poor. We can't dodge that though. And she's done. So let's see what we get. You're a little too excited about that, Isaac. Oh, that's... That's unfortunate. Thank you once again for joining me. If you like the video, 
click like. If you want to see more, click subscribe, and I will see you soon.